notch. Top notch. Okay. Let me put on the music again. So we have that. There we go. So we have combat. That's scary. Uh, scary combat. So we have to go to the kitchen. Also, there is um, there was a setting to warn someone of jump scares. Uh, I did not take that one. So jump scares are gonna happen. So if you're holding a T or something, you better, you know, make sure that you're not throwing it. And I'm trying not to scream. Screaming is Panda's job. Wait, that's not the place. Oh. Am I wrong here? Oh, I am wrong. Oops. I also have a bass guitar. I hope to get, you don't get invaded by cultists. <laughs> I mean, let's hope not. Even if you have a bass guitar. Hold on, I don't want to go here. Let's not do that. Actually, hold on. Oh, eh, eh. I'm totally not getting lost at all. That's not a thing I do. Getting lost is not in my... my stars. Okay. And turn to the right. No, turn to the left. Crisscross. That's the way, right? Yes. I hope I don't um, have to hurry back at some point in the game. That w would be sucky for me. Okay, dining room. Almost there. Anything? Nobody's here. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. It could have just been the house set settling, like I said. If anything in doubt, you can use it as a hammer weapon. I mean, yeah. Okay. I think that hit knocked them out cold. It made so much noise, I cannot afford to stick around, but... I don't feel good about letting this maniac wake up and ambush me again. I'll tie them up somewhere so I can keep my eye on them. Why is that knife covered in blood? I cannot for the life of me found a wound anywhere on my body. And I certainly did not feel any pain either. I grab a hold of the scruff of the coldest collar and drag them a short distance. They feel unusually light to carry, but my left arm cannot produce any force. This gave me a fucking heart attack and my cat too. <laughs> I warned you, like, two minutes ago. Okay? <laughs> That's all I can do. What's going on with... Oh, damn. What was that? That vision? No matter how much I focus, I cannot bring it back. Just like the fake letter I received. Are the woods concealing my injuries from me? So I cannot tell when I'm about to drop dead? I sling my bars over my shoulders, by its strap, and drag the cultist with my right arm alone. I am sure this would be torture if I could feel pain or exhaustion. Okay, so we re return to Roxanne now. That's fair. So did we pick up their knife? Oh no. Nah. Okay, so I need the right mouse button to be available at all times. Oh dear lord. That that, that jump scare was something, so And I'm assuming it's not even one of the bigger jump scares. So that's gotta be right. Hello. I'm back. Welcome back. What is that? I brought you a present. Bus guitar. Not that. The dead body. Oh, they are alive, actually. You took one of the thousand alive? 
and then brought them here? This is... very good, actually. Now you have a blood sacrifice if you need one. What did you say? Some of these rituals require blood or human... participants. Having someone knocked out and served to you on a silver platter makes things much easier. I didn't drag them up the stairs so they could be a sacrifice. I tie their wrists together behind a load bearing force in my room. Now, I'm an outer god, so my moral code is completely different from that of humans. But didn't they just try to kill you? Maybe. But under that mask, this could be someone else who went missing. I could never put someone through what I felt when my parents didn't come back. The mask is snug against the cultist's face, but with a firm yang. Her! Nanny! You! Oh, you're that klutz from Missing Person Lane! <laughs> you worthless lamb! We'll kill you! You'll never escape from this town alive! Of course we gotta spray her. <laughs> Sheesh. Maybe I bonked you on the head a little too hard. It's not that. She has the stare. Her lust for the leader of the Thousand, Buck, has been amplified a thousandfold into blind fanaticism. Wait, so... The Thousand are her children, their children, and they have a leader called Buck, which is like... got the power from Roxanne to be the leader of the Thousand, because... Usually it's like all children are the same, no? Hey, don't try to wriggle out of that. I don't want to have to hurt you. I just needed to make sure you couldn't attack me again. You think you can steal my book, bash me over the head with a guitar, tie me up, and get away with it? Oh, you're so dead. I'm assuming Buck is immortal. I mean... Why would he be the only one of uh, Roxanne's children to be the immortal one, you know? Like, it sounds like Buck is the big guy. Like, the, the, the biggest, oldest brother or whatever. The uh, oldest son, I mean. Or, you know, whatever. <laughs> what did you expect to thank you? <sighs> She's long gone. It's pointless trying to talk to her. If you're insisting on keeping her alive, just do us both a favor and keep an eye on her. If you have to look away, don't turn your back on her for too long. Oh my god, Buck. Oh, okay. You know what? Thank you that you said it. Yes, yes, yeah. Mm hmm I, I just realized, yes. I do insist on keeping her alive. If she has the stare, then she didn't choose this. She's just another innocent person who got tricked into coming here. God, it's so smart and we didn't even see it. Like, what the hell? <laughs> hey, if you just stay put for now, then I can just let you go after I'm done here, okay? Drop dead. I sigh and return her mask to her. First things first. I need to do something about my arm. Okay. Anything else here? Just checking. Everything seems the same. Okay. Rejuvenate virility. To heal injuries, place a gold skull over your face and light green, green fire candles. Ensure the symbol is drawn nearby and face a mirror. If the intended target isn't the caster and isn't deceased, draw this symbol instead. Face them. Okay. So we want to heal our injuries, though. So... Can we grab a mask? Do we even have a mirror here? Okay. Interesting. Uh, that's the one. 
We need to face the mirror, though. Do we have a mirror? Mirror, mirror on the wall. I cannot see one. How we ball. Okay, we need to find a mirror then. Where would the mirror be? Yeah, we need to find a mirror. Apparently. Wait, everything I need is already in this room. On the dresser? I'm not sure if that's... Um, I think that's more pictures or something. The shiny thing. And those are the herbs. I don't think this is a mirror. Is this what you mean? I don't think this is a mirror. Let's just try it, I guess. Oh my god. The shiny rectangle right in the middle. Uh huh? Shiny rectangle right in the middle. I'm even more blind than you two, I think. I'm so confused, guys. I don't even see anything sh anything shiny. Uh, there the pictures are pinning on the wardrobe doors. In between there is a mirror. Oh my god, this is the mirror? Oh my god, it makes sense. I Oh, okay, okay. Mm hmm Okay, I see it now. I, I, I see it now. This is so wild to me. I didn't... <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh no. This is so embarrassing. But thank you, Sammy. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh no. Actually, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to try something. Can I say it? I cannot, okay. I want to try something. Is this the one? This is the one. Right? This is the one. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna face her and try to heal her. Okay? Let's do that. Let's try it. I want to try and heal her. If that doesn't work, okay, I'm gonna heal myself then. Ah, Hornan, Gvdok, Neogognor, Grim's father. Okay, never mind. I tried. Oh, hold on, I need to switch the thing though. There we go. I tried. Alright, that should do it. I love that they kept the fart sound when you fail a spell. Yep. I inspect my arm, but I still cannot tell whether I'm in pain or not. I can only hope I'm still not bleeding out. That about handles my injuries. Hey, um... What? Your name is Nanny, right? I'm going to give you your mask back so you can do that ritual too. I bet that lump aches, huh? What? The one you gave to me? I didn't mean to hurt you, I swear. You came at me, I was just defending myself. Look, you are hurt. Let me help patch you up and we'll cut it even. Deal? Like, barf me out. 
Yeah, no chance. Bottom of the page. I know how to do it. A Hornog, the golf Tog, like you got more grins bottom. <laughs> Better. This is gonna come back to bite you. Just wait until I break free, then you're toast for real. I don't know, like, if that worked. <laughs> okay. We're from Rot Bloom. We'll do that in a second. Okay. Ritual is required to safely approach the heart of... I didn't even finish reading it. What a gruesome looking ritual. What's wrong? N nothing. Just getting the creepy crawlies from this one. It looks like I've got to eat a bunch of stuff in order to make... The seed, made immortal by my influence. When you die, the seed will bloom, leaving something good in the world long after you've passed away. That's kind of beautiful, actually. Really? You think so? I do. But I don't like thinking about dying. It's kind of comforting thinking a part of me will live on, you know? Well, the same could be said about having children. They carry on your legacy long after you die, too. And if you have a bunch of children, it's like living forever. Doesn't that sound nice, too? Hmm? <laughs> First quencher, spray Roxanne. Achievement unlocked. Kidding, kidding. I was only 60% serious. That's still more than half serious. But then again, living forever is something best done through offspring. Experiencing it yourself. You mean like what you did to my Bucky? He brought that upon himself. You cursed him. He was your most devout follower, and you cursed him. Cursed? One of my followers, the leader of the Thousand, stole a kiss from me long ago and became immortal. No matter what happens, he will still exist. Forever. Okay, so he is immortal. Makes sense. How is that a curse? I could use immortality right about now. Wouldn't it be nice to live forever? No! I mean, you're talking to, you know... Roxanne. Um, I mean, immortality is certainly not living forever. The pain you feel after fatal wounds becomes permanent, lifelong agony. Ooh. For instance, if a human drowns, they feel indescribable fear and pain for seconds, maybe minutes at worst, and then are swept away by the mercy of death. An immortal human would continue to drown, thrashing and screaming soundlessly. Until hope came. If it came. You know, I, ne I, I never thought about it like that. If that would be the case with immortality, that would be... Like, immortality is always romanticized in, in you know... The only downside is, yeah, you see your, your um, family and friends die and whatever. But having this piece of puzzle in there too, having this never-ending eternity of pain and suffering? Ah, mmm, juicy. So, for a mortal human to be cursed with cosmic permanence, immortality is terror beyond death. Buck realized this, and is tormenting me until I take it back. Yeah, I never have. So what? How come you don't just take it back then? Wouldn't they let you go if you did? If cosmic permanence was something that could be undone, it wouldn't be permanent, would it? Hmm, that sucks. When Bucky finds you, when he gets his hands on you... Buck is already here. Oh no. Nani? A voice from the other side of my bedroom door? I didn't even hear him coming. Bucky! You wouldn't act so surprised if you had. Again, I am terrible with everything. Buck! So. They're here! Hello in there. It would appear that you have my book, my nanny, and my god inside that room with you. The good news is, you're holding all of the cards. As long as nanny is unharmed. She's fine. I just tied her up. Is that so? Then it looks like we can make a deal. If you let us in, we'll take nanny and go. What? No way. Once that door is open, I'm going to missing for sure. 
How do I know this was? I don't know. <laughs> do you realize the situation you're in? We can storm in and take the book, the girl, and the god by force. I think he might be one of the Danganronpa voice actors, but I don't know. I don't think. Um, I don't think you know them from here. Then, how come you haven't done it already? You might get a lucky shot on one of us before you died, like I assume you did, Nanny. And if the injury was serious, we'd be stuck for the next who knows how many years with it. All of that is too much risk over you. Right. And so you'll just let me waltz on out of here? We get dozens of people trapped in our woods every week. It means nothing to us if you escape. Even if I go straight to the police and tell them everything? <laughs> the police are already here. Open the door, and you can keep Roxanne and the book. And if you don't, you know what will happen. You have 20 seconds to make your choice. You know, I am willing to bet he's not allowed to get in here without me inviting them. So, we're just gonna wait it out, no? Also, where is Roxanne? Roxanne is gone. Interesting. What does the book say? You'll hit the book. I quickly leap back from the door, awaiting the onslaught of cultists. But instead I hear footsteps retreating. Stardust! Are you alright? I pat myself down quickly. If I got hit, it wasn't enough to make me lose consciousness. That'll have to do. What gives? Why are they running away? Did I do something to scare them off? They know you have to leave this room eventually. So they're waiting to ambush you. Don't let your guard down. They could be anywhere. Oh, great. Okay. Awesome. Okay. This ritual is required to safely approach the heart of the woods to become uprooting. The effects are not reversible, even in death. Welcome back, Aldine. I then consume the, fol the following in order. The pot of a plant which grew underwater within the Blackwoods. Raw meat of an animal that died within the Blackwoods, so we have to go to the kitchen. The petal of a flower that grew from the soil in the Blackwoods. Ensure there are no lit candles. Place any plant in the room with your spawn pot to present. Okay, so let's turn off the lights. Yeah, she might be knocked out dead. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, Nani. Whatever. Okay. So, which plants are meant? Is this plant meant then? Or this? Or those? Which plant should I face? The part of a plant which grew underwater within the black. Let's try to find that. Actually, let's go to the kitchen first, I think. There's something in the bath bathroom, too. Hold on. This won't be enough. What? To protect me. Okay, so we're just fucking dead then. Awesome. I think that I uh, found one. I think this thing's a plant, so it probably counts. My bath's panoramic, I think. Nothing a plant could grow on. So I can only imagine what the plants are actually growing out of under the murky water. The leathery seedling tears off with little resistance. I try to chew it, but it's hard as a rock. Something is off about the taste of- Why would you- <clears throat> I managed to force it down, whatever it was- Oh right, we have to do the thing, right? I don't think it was poisonous, but- I feel kind of sick now. I better get a move on. Okay, next dining room. 
Okay, I don't think we can defend ourselves this time. So that's an issue. Is this a trial and error situation? If I run into the enemies, I die. And I have to, you know, make sure that I don't. Nope, I'm good. Back away from the threat hiding behind the door. Achievement unlocked. Yeah, I think we got here. Looks like I'm supposed to eat it raw this time. Yuck. Why this so creepy? I mean, I like the vibe. The vibe is really cool. I tear off a dripping morsel of the strange meat, pinch my nose shut, and imagine it's beef tartare as I force it down. It leaves a medley aftertaste in my mouth, and it feels like something didn't go down quite right. I hate when that happens. I feel very sick all of a sudden. My stomach immediately starts to churn. I need to get out of here. What's that incredible smell? A rich, warm scent clouds my senses, settling my stomach almost instantly. I follow my nose, and it leads back to the meat. Could it really be? Did I just get a bad first piece or something? I hesitantly take another bite, and a wave of satisfaction washes over me, and my appetite kicks into overdrive. I've never tasted anything like it. I eat a third piece, then a fourth, a fifth. It's like I've done the, my whole life without eating until now. The seconds between bites feel like an eternity of withdrawal. Eventually my hang hunger abates, but only I've, after I stripped it clean to the marrow. I need to get one last ingredient. The petal of a flower that grew in the black grew in the blackness. I walk away, now and idly, idly on the bone. Okay, where do I have to go? Upstairs. We should be good here. Nope. Okay, I'm dead. Achievement, I walk back into the command show, die or go missing. Well, we ditched. That's our first playthrough, I guess. That sucks. Just waiting for that, yeah. Okay. So we have to find a way. It's not there then. Yeah, it's try and error then. That's unfortunate for us. Let's go outside. God damn it! I guess we're not going outside then. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this whole try and error. Actually. Uh, that really sucks. But okay. The okay, last time we take it. Wait, they left. Hold on. Hold on. So there was one up here. There's one here. How are we supposed to get there then? Are we supposed to go outside? Because I'm pretty sure we went here. Hold on. Let, let me check again if we went there. Because if we go to the front, we die. Okay, okay. So they blocked off the way out there. Okay, okay, okay. We will get there eventually. Let's try to go outside from the main door. Let's see if that works. And you know, find another entrance or something.
I dash out the door and flee from the house. If I can escape from Sacramento, I can tell everyone what's been happening. Oh no. That's another ending, I feel like. I sprint back through a missing person lane, unable to shake the feeling of an unseen pursuer, just past the tree line. But no matter how far I run, the buildings refuse to change. Time and time again, I arrive back at my house. It's as if my house was in the middle of a non-Euclidean labyrinth. As soon as I lose sight of it, I happen upon it again. Even when my path certainly puts distance between me and my house, I cannot get free of its strange clutches. I won't be able to escape until these darned woods are banished. I cross the threshold with rekindled determination. Okay. So I guess we went back in then? Like, if we go in there we die. Actually, if, if you open it slowly, you can see them, I think. Okay, so going outside didn't do shit. How are we supposed to get up there, though? Like, there's no entrance from the kitchen, I think. We don't need the spices. Or the whatever that is. Hold on, can we grab a weapon from, from the kitchen or something? To defend us? No. Doesn't seem like it. This one should be safe. Is there like a secret entrance or something? Okay, I wanna I want see if I can... Peak. Yep, look, there it is. On the top right. Let's not do that. And the same thing should be here. Oh. Okay. They are not here. Okay, we actually have to be freaking careful here. That's hilarious. Hi. What if we run into them? Yeah, I'll, I don't want to try. If I'm being honest. How do we get there now? Eek. Oh, there's someone. Can we sneak in? Like, we have to get in there is the thing. Oh. Really? Okay. They are very... They are enjoying themselves, I feel like. There's other plants around, but none are as radiant as this one. This must be a flower grown directly from the blackwood soil. This is the last thing I need to eat before I can complete the ritual. I pluck a petal quietly. Cultists being cultists is a mage. <laughs> I mean, they are, they are cultists of lust. You know, they, their lust is being... Uh, you know... They are in overdrive mode, if you will. It tastes sweet, like honey. It leaves a numbing, unfamiliar sensation on my tongue. As if I'm tasting the very nature of the blackwoods. Suddenly a sharp bitter taste seizes me and the sweetness vanishes. I try to spit out the petal, but I cannot move. All I can do is look back at the flower and see how it and the surrounding plants all seem to be growing, all in the same direction towards me. The horror. My heart begins beating again and my consciousness returns suddenly. I'm curled up on the ground in the corner of the room. My face is wet with tears and I feel like several hours have passed. The flower is gone. Nothing remains of it but my vague memory and an inexplicable sense of dread. Oh. We have just been staring at it for hours. Okay.
Okay. Let's get in. Okay, so. Oh, we have to do it in order. Oh, we did it in order, I think. Yeah, okay. No lit candles, we did that. Face any plant in the room with your spawn partner present. So, in hold on. Turn off. Okay. Any plant does it. Okay, let's, let's, let's do this plant. So we see a dead body too. A probably dead body. Well done. We're so close I can taste it. This feeling of hope welling in my chest. So unfamiliar. I'd hate to disappoint you, but we are trapped in a pretty terrible situation. I'm not sure if escape is realistic at this point. I have no idea how many of them are here. And I know they are armed. I cannot safely get out of this room anymore. Chances are that I'm going to walk into one of their traps eventually, even if I'm on guard every minute of every ritual left. We may yet make it out of this. I know what ritual is next. As long as Nanny stays down, this will be easy. I mean, Nanny's probably dead. So. You know how I mentioned that we'll be in need of a sacrifice. The time has come. They are dead already, so... Does it need to be a life sacrifice, or...? Ooh, Nanny isn't... Isn't she? she is still alive. Normally, one or two fatal injuries wouldn't be enough to kill her since she's one of the thousand. But, oddly enough, she's slipping away. We'll have to work quickly. Cold blood can't be used as a sacrifice. Okay, so she's dying, thankfully, and we can do the thing over. She will be sacrificed? After all that's happened to her? I cannot just leave her like this, right? Um, let's try the rejuvenation thing again on her. So, green candles. We need the thing. That one. We need the mask and we need to look at her. Is that correct? If the intended target isn't the caster and it isn't deceased, draw the symbol instead face them. Okay, let's see. Ah, na talk, Nord, It works. She's still alive? A thousand tenacity is just something else. What have you done? Why did you heal her? Because I'm stupid. I like doing stupid things. He knew I was in here with you. And fired anyway. Oh? You heard it too, right? You said to stop shooting because they hit the book. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh. Is it just me or is she acting different? Thanks for bringing me back. Or whatever. Uh, thanks? Did she just say thank you? Roxanne, what? What's happening? Her desire for Buck was what drew her into the woods. Now that her desire for Buck is zero, there's nothing to amplify. That's all. Oh, so we have to do that for a thousand people now, huh? Uh, like the thousand, not thousand people, but the thousand. Really? She's not one of them anymore? Hey, if I untie you, you won't attack me, right? No, Stardust. Think. Crisis of faith or not, she is still with the thousand. And just tried to kill you. She literally has your blood on her hands. I slipped the guitar strap off my, from around her wrist, wrists. There. How is that? I'm not gonna say thank you for releasing me too. You're the one who tied me up in the first place. I'm leaving. Bye. Stardust, we're going to regret this. Have a little faith in me. It will be alright. Well... I do feel a little better that she is not here with us anymore. Nanny not being around is fine by me. Okay, summon firstborns. Yeah. Anything else? Wait, what is that? Oh, that's the rot bloom. Okay. Summon firstborns. 
This ritual will call upon any and all firstborns within the Black Woods to gather a prodigious amount of fresh blood. Vital for many rituals, including uprooting. If you are death shine, follow these steps to avoid being targeted. Chant near your slam, spawn partner, yada yada. After chanting, immediately leave the room. Do not return early. Okay, continues on the next page. That's not helpful. Not helpful at all. Um, I want to peek the whole room. Okay. I feel like doing that is useless. Yeah, I guess. The nog ya ye o gog no lvnaf hana. Goodbye. Are you done? Be careful. Hello? Well, that was rude. I guess I, I, guess I was too early back. Uh, this is the one we were in, Nanny Alive. Well done. We're so close, I can taste. Okay. She's alive. I guess I was back too early then. I should go. Oh well. Oh, we have to go downstairs then? Okay. We can try. Where's the other downstairs? To oh, here. No, not here. There needs to be another downstairs then. Oh, up here. Okay. Here we are good. Peek. We're good. Peek again. Anyone here? Okay, I cannot re peek. Okay, I should not re peek. The death scene reminds me of the death scene from that one Humpty Dumpty Fnuff fan game. I'm not versed in Five Nights at Freddy's at all, so sadly I cannot uh, understand this comparison. <laughs> well done. Okay. Okay, okay. Got it. Uh, let's try that again. So we have to make sure that we not run into the into th into the thingamajigs. That's the one direction, sadly. Turn around. Here we go. Okay. Okay, now we have to take a left. All the cultists are gone. Nope. Nope. I kind of want to see Panda play this game. Not gonna lie. Let's go down. Turn around. 
Yeah, what's in here? A whole lot of nothing. Okay. Oh, hi! Nowhere within the Blackwoods is safe except for the heart of the woods. The hearts will hide your scent from them. To avoid first ones on your way, avoid making eye contact, they will know if you saw them. Move quickly but do not run, you will attract their attention, be observant, do not look at the next page until you have reached the hearts. Oh, okay, I, I just skipped this side, I guess. I just did it. It's fine. Wait for the candles to go out. Do not leave the heart of the woods until the candles go out in the, on their own. No matter, no matter what you see or hear. Once the candles go out, leave immediately. You return to the room where the ritual began. Find what they left for you and chant three times to end the ritual. Okay. Wait for the candles to blow out. And then run back up. This is freaking creepy. Okay, they are out. You have to leave. Okay. Peek. Sorry if I'm quiet right now, but I don't want to die. Not again. The, this feels really intense, and they did a really good job with the atmosphere here. Oh shit. Take a left. It's crazy, yeah, I agree. It's a, it's a big upgrade from the last game. It's actually scary. Like the last time was like, haha, haha, that's funny, you know. No, no, don't go down. It's funny and cute and... and man. Okay, let's go back in. Priorities, indeed, Willy. Okay. Chant three times to end the trial. Ebgo ka yego gnor lubnafna. Get the gift. Oh. Got it, but what exactly is this? I open the sack. The contents are dark red liquid, thickly mixed with another darker fluid. It smells kind of like fresh wine. I close the sack up, ignoring the sight of two bright red fingers floating onto the top. No time to recover from all this excitement. I've got to end this ritual. How wonderful. Oh Jesus. With all that was scary. Fresh blood were as good as home free. Soon I will finally leave Sacramento behind. Hopefully, wherever you spend the remainder of your reality will be greener pastures as well. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean, remainder of my reality? I know it's a lot to take in, but because I'm an outer god, everything in this reality is my dream, including you. Oh, well, that's the same from Sometime the old Sometime after I'm uprooted, I will wake up, and this reality will end. Like, the same thing happened in the first game. Like, the whole, they are dreaming this reality to be our reality and, you know. What happens to me when my reality ends? Well, permanent entities like myself and Buck continue to exist between dreams. But as for non-immortals, Stardust. Occultus asked me the same exact question once before, when I gave him my answer. At first he laughed as if I was joking. Shortly after, he was disappointed and confused, as if dissatisfied with my answer. But then... As he began to mull it over, it slowly began to drive him mad, until finally he ran shrieking into the woods, and I never saw him again. Your answer was really that terrifying? I've got to know. What happens to me once my reality ends? I don't know. Someone's coming. Is it Buck? 
Did Nanny spill the beans and say how close we are to finishing? I ready my bass guitar. This is it. Whatever happens, I cannot fail here. For my sake and for Roxanne's. I have to wait. Oh, something's approaching. I don't think I'm gonna swing the guitar no matter what. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna swing anything. I'm not swinging my ding. That's not happening. This is just a psychological horror situation, so I'm not gonna swing it. I'm gonna live. Fingers crossed. Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me. I'm not gonna swing it. I'm gonna sip my coffee. Not get jump scared. Come on. Show me your true face. Do I have to swing it for the door? Oh. Who is it? Suspense. Hey, I'm back. I knew it. I knew it. Ah, I'm so smart. I'm the smartest person around. <laughs> Nanny came back? Trigger discipline. Resist the urge to bonk Nanny with your bars. Hurry, get in here. Jeez, I almost took her head off. No, I didn't. She's back? Why? You sound so jealous. Because I'm leaving too. And the only way I'm getting out of here is if you finish your rituals. I gotta get back to my folks. And you do too, so... Actually, thanks to the thousand, that's no longer a possibility for her. Oh. Were they... you know... Did we... I take a deep breath and force a small smile. I swallowed hard, forcing the familiar lump in my throat back down. And you saved me anyways? I don't know how I could even begin to thank you. Well, you can start by helping us escape. Having an ex-cultist on our side evens the odds greatly. It does? Since she has children, she has the same superhuman strength and tenacity as the rest of them. Huh? What are you talking about? I do not have kids. What do you mean? You've been Buck's girlfriend all this time. Inside my aura of desire, no less. How haven't the two of you had kids yet? Why don't you tell me? You're the space goat with magic powers or whatever. How come instead of bringing me and Bucky closer, you ruined everything? <laughs> ruined everything? You two seemed pretty close before he um, shot you. I mean... I guess we'd be close if I ever got to see him or have any time alone together. I mean, that was what I thought all of this was gonna be. He told me that the black goat of the woods was like some goddess of love or lust or whatever. So I was all like, OMG, that's totally hot. Let's summon her right now. <laughs> We're saying kind of sex at her job, doesn't she? Yeah. But like, as soon as <laughs> he did, he stopped talking to me. Between you and all the other girls that wander into town, it's like I'm invisible or whatever. Guess that explains why Nanny thought I was here for Buck when we first ran into each other. For a second back there, I thought he'd realized how much I meant to him. Back when he said you can keep the book and the god if he just got me back. But I guess I'm like... Hey, don't get yourself down. There's plenty of other violent cult leaders out there. I'm sure you'll find the right one for you. <laughs> oh god. Thanks. But I think I'm swearing off of skulls and robes for a while. After we do these rituals, that is. Here's everything you need for the next one. Saved you the trip. Aww, thank you. Really? The thing she risked returning just to help me. And so after this, reality will end eventually? <sighs> That part of the stream, meaning I'll probably vanish too. Most likely. 
So that makes me your dream girl, technically. Oh my god. It's the same as last time. Well, that's <laughs> one takeaway from the existential atom bomb I just dropped on you. But yes, I suppose so. Oh my gosh, 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 oh Cool indeed. But it's about to get very, very hot. Uprooting me will cause the entire Black Woods to burn down. So you'll need to run. If the woods were able to lure you in all the way from wherever you were living, it means its roots have grown that far. That will burn too. Just how far am I supposed to be running? I would say 60 miles just to be safe. Doing this is going to burn everything down within 60 miles. It's a small price to pay to excise the woods from your planet. Left unchecked, they will envelop the whole Earth, turning every human into either a cultist or fertilizer. But it, this reality doesn't exist if we do this ritual, so... I'm not sure how this could affect any of this. How would any of this reality... Any of this burning down the trees, 60 miles, yada yada, affect a world that's not gonna exist anymore. Just think of it like a widespread forest fire. And not even the worst one you've seen. Humanity has dealt with far larger wildfires before. Your towns will heal. Well, is it just specifically us? That, that That's only our reality. So I just gotta run it from... Run for it once the fire starts. Don't stop running, and leave the book behind to burn. If the Thousand ever recovered it, they could seed the Blackwoods again. And this will all have been for nothing. But what if they save the book before it burns to ash? You're never gonna make it out anyways. The Thousand are ready to die for Buck. They'll mob us as soon as this place starts burning. Here, if you take my old robes and mask, you can, like, slip right past them. I'll stay behind and make sure the book burns. But what about you? Won't they kill you if they see you without your cold stuff? As if. They know my face. If they see me running away, they'll let me go. Here, try this on. I slip on the ropes and tuck my head into the gold skull mask. It fits snugly. It fits? Do you know what that means? That the disguise will work? Well, yeah, but more importantly, it means we're the same size. From what I understand, imagine that once she wakes up, everything on Earth and so on would just pop out of existence, cease to be. Yeah. Scale it, all, scale it to all reality and that's only for this god. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, that might be, I guess. Can I totally raid your closet on my way out? Because, like... I didn't want to say this while we were trying to kill each other or anything, but I love your pastel goth look. So cute. Oh yeah, take whatever you want. It's all burning to the ground anyway. Awesome. Stardust, no! We're so close to escaping. You can't throw it all away now by trusting her. If the book doesn't burn, all of this will be for nothing. If you trust her, and then she hands the book over to the Thousand, both of us are going to pay for it. She already switched sides once today. Yeah, but she isn't the big show. Okay, no, nobody will get that reference. Never mind. I got us this far, didn't I? We won't let you down now. But she... <sighs> Alright, I just... I want this so badly. And I don't know if I have any hearts left to break. Come on, let's head on down to the root room and finish this. Okay, can we talk? We cannot talk. Okay, let, let me check the ritual. If your relationship with Roxanne Silver has soured, or you no longer wish to have the Earth consumed by the Blackwoods, this ritual is the only way to rid your reality of them. For now. This ritual will cause the Blackwoods to burn to ash, and the hearts will return to their dormant state. This will allow you to escape from the Blackwoods. But be warned, you can never meaningfully leave the Blackwoods once you enter them. Have all the following on your person. The blood of the last ten human-sized living things. The seed of a rot bloom within you. 
A common flame accelerant like flour, cinnamon, cooking oil, nail polish, remover or hairspray. Go to the heart of the woods while facing a hard chant. Whatever. But Nani gave us all that shit, right? We got the hairspray, we got the seed. We got the blood. Yeah, we have everything, so we have we have just to get there. Can we talk to you? No? Okay. Okay. Let's see. We have to go all the way down again. Hmm. Eek. Okay. Eek. Okay. And this is really intense. Like, the, the, the peaking that I have to peak is really cool. Like, that I can slow down how far I am gonna do the... How, how far I'm gonna do it, you know? Okay. While facing the hot Achievement unlocked BFFs. Help Nanny. Uh, there was more to it, but I was too slow. And so the Blackwoods have been destroyed. May something green and good grow from its ashes. I am so, so proud of you. I can't thank you enough. It's ironic, isn't it? The day I get my wish of never having to see a human again. It's the same day I finally meet one worth knowing. Aww. There she goes. It's like an oven in here already. I, f I hear frantic commotion. They must be coming. Pass me the book? I look down at the purple ritual book, hearing Roxanne's worries echo one more time through my head. I know what I'm doing. Here, huh? I didn't imagine the night ending with me willingly handing the book over to you. Oh my god, right? Like, totally not what I expected at all. You know, Buck really wants this book. And now that the woods are all burning down, he'd probably give anything to have it back. Don't you dare. If we went back to the Thousand together, we could ask for anything. I'm sure he'd let you join. <laughs> you deserve that one, Nanny. Nanny! Kidding! Kidding! I was just kidding! Jeez! Well, mostly. She takes a long look at the book before tossing it into the fire. Hey, this is like so embarrassing to say, but I think we would have been besties if things were different or whatever. You're so cute. Aww. See ya. Her smile's really pretty. I wish we could have met somewhere else too. Time to go. Hopefully this disguise is enough to escape. Okay, so we have to get outside of the room now. Yeah? Oh. Oh. Is that you? Shoot. I wasn't expecting to have to talk my way out. Yeah, I'm totally. It is her! What are you still doing in here? This place is coming down! Do I really have all of them fooled? Damn it! That outsider must have completed the uproot ritual. If we rush her, we might be able to save the book. Right! There's no way the book has burned all the way yet. I need to buy in any more time. Wait, I'll like totally get the book myself or whatever. R really? Nani, you're amazing! You're a true believer! I can't believe you'd sacrificed yourself for all of us! Come on, guys! Let's get out of here! Right! Morons. Uh, can we go back to Nanny? Let, let me go back to Nanny. I want to take her with me. Yo, Nan. Oh, she, okay, she's... she's She fucked off. That's fine. Okay. Guess we're heading out. We don't need to be scared anymore. We can YOLO it. Uh, 
I think I'm wrong. Oh. Go there. Take a left. So, I cannot help but notice that we haven't used the spices and stuff from the kitchen. So there might be an alternate uh, thing there. What happens if you go back to Roxette? Actually, that's a good idea. You know what? Good, good that you said that. Let, let's do that. Let's go back to let's go back to Roxanne and say bye. That's a really good call. I would have just left now. The house is burning down. No way, I'm going upstairs. Well, never mind. Uh, which is the way? This is the way. It it was a nice it was a nice thought. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Let me check in the kitchen. Anything in the dining room? No. Make a make a cup of tea or something. Yeah, so we didn't use the spices. Hmm. Okay. Let's just leave them. So there must be something with the spices later on, or I mean not later on, but in another path. Maybe it's like part of the um, part of the last ritual, which Nanny helped us with. I made it. I survived the night. I've got a long way to go before I'm clear of the wildfire, but I'm ahead of it for the moment. I'd better be sure to ditch the rope and mask. I don't want to be mistaken for a cultist once I'm home free. I lower my mask solemnly as I watch my childhood home burn to the ground. The house crackles loudly as the wood foundation splinters. Large sections of the house begin coming down in cinders, burying any cultists unfortunate enough to have been trapped underneath. This should be the end of the disappearances. Wait, what's that? Sit oh. tight! Another episode of Sucker for Love at Date to Die For is coming up. Huh? Sorry. I ended up not giving the book back after all. <laughs> Guess I've got to get involved now. The book is mine. Next time on Sucker for Love, House of Wax. I know I that voice wait. too. I know that voice actress too, from somewhere. That was a really nice peek. Nani has left the thousand. Hooray! Chapter one. That's a good thing. True end! Hooray, hooray. We got the true ending on our second try. On our second ending. That's really nice. Also, I can't help to notice that this is all a freaking TV show for y'all. Oh no, I didn't mean to start the chapter again. Hold on. Main menu. Sucker for love. Okay. So, we still have something to... Um... Another path to go. And we're gonna clean that up after our break and then we're gonna continue with uh, chapter 2. Does that sound like, like a plan? Are we all up for cleaning this up or should we go for chapter 2? I'm gonna start a poll actually. Y'all can decide if we go for the next chapter or cleaning stuff up. Uh, it will be during the break so yeah, make sure to vote.